I started that goof it off the last couple of graduations, giving me reasons why I couldn't come here. So down and out. Well, now I'm a young 91 with a brand new heart. <laughs> In fact, it's such a small world. The doctor that waited at war, one of the chief of surgeons, his grand great grandparents in Tempe, I delivered papers to him. <laughs> I was so, it's a small world. But I'll tell you, when I look at these two sides of the stadium, we used to ride my bike from that butte to that butte. But of course, we got the rocks all the way. We did, we were, we were eating rocks. When I see all the things that growing up in TMP, if any of you ever been down by Mill Avenue and been by the Chase Bank, that's where my mother had her little cafe that raised seven hundred thousand. On the corner is a drugstore, and that's where Dr. Patterson lived, and that's where I was born in 31. Oh. So I sort of have roots here in TMP, and I love my little town. My corporation is still here, and it's, it's very viable. And it's for one reason. I want to make this country a better country. I want to make you have the opportunity to, to get the advantages that you deserve. Somebody the other day said, well, Mr. Fulton, why do you want to live to be 100? I said, I give away a couple hundred more million dollars to education. <laughs> I couldn't think of a better way of doing it. Because it's no fun making it if you can't enjoy it. And you, believe it or not, we need you. You're our future. And if you don't, put your wheels to grind and make it happen. Because nothing comes easy. Everything looks easy when somebody's doing it. Hmm. All you gotta do, like my father said, when you can walk in her footsteps, you can judge them. Well, I found out that looking at things makes things easy. But basically, I don't want to take up all your time tonight, but number one, when I see this stadium like this, it gives me goosebumps. I just love all of you, all your parents, all you teachers. Hello. Buddy. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hello, Palunara. When I first met Michael Crow back in 202, okay, okay. we were talking, and one day he was asking, tell me about what, he, what the future he wanted for ASU. Oh, back in 202, this college was 6,700 students. Today it's over 30,000. Within four years, it'll be another 10,000. Because why? If there's a demand for engineering, you make it happen. And that's what it's all about. Everybody said, why aren't you an engineer? I said, I'm an engineer because the, the, the National Academy of Engineers say I am. <laughs> and I told him one day when I when they, they was going to give me the, the award, I said, I'm not, they said, Ira, you have two universities, you give away a couple hundred million dollars, you're an engineer. I said, okay, but I'm not, a, I'm a businessman. I like to make money so I can see you here getting a better education. That's what it's all about. And if anybody, if anybody makes a lot of money and, and holds it to themselves, they're a bunch of jerks. Because it, I mean that. I, I feel very strong about it. I've raised for education in the last 20 years about a billion, four hundred million dollars. And I, you're lucky I, I don't feel good I'd raise two billion because I cannot think of a better investment than education. Woo! I think so much of education that the teacher's college on this campus is named after my wife, Mary Lou. I have, I have 16 teachers in my family. Believe it or not, when I was a greenhorn and 17 years old, I could be a football coach. So, by, by the time I was a junior, I found out they, they, they made no money. <laughs> so, that, that sort of dropped my enthusiasm about going out. And I love football, but I like the, the free enterprise system better. Mm -hmm. Because you only get out of something once you put into it. And if, if you're not a quitter, if you just, if you, everybody says, well, what makes you successful? 
I said, no, they're going to give us mistakes. Look at their successes and see how you can be better. Or if you're successful, how can you be better by improving your own? That makes you a giant. And I'll tell you, it's a lot of fun making money because it's a lot of fun giving it away. I, r r r roughly, I have maybe a couple of, couple of 200, 250 million invested in this university called Arizona State, and I love it. I wish I could, I want to give another 200 million. Because why? It's going for you. And that's where it's got to be. So much, you know, at this little college 20 years ago, you know, was its grant was 33,000 a year. Now it's 175,000 grants. Mm -hmm. Our faculty back in those days was 203. Now they're 450. Mm -hmm. Everything, but everything is going great. And I'll tell you, when I when I see our our, our 11th college we're opening up out it, then. That little Klingon Chandler, Gateway. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why I forget Gateway. When I was growing up, it was Williams Air Force Base. It was mm -hmm. out in the boonies. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, I, all I want to say is Sunday is Mother's Day, and I and I want all you oh. graduates here, from Ira to your mother, to give her a red rose because these are the people that made us who we are. Our teachers and our parents are the foundation of a good, a good person. And somebody says, well, what makes you strong? I said, not, not being a know-it-all, not criticizing people, not judging, because I have a hard time not judging. When somebody beats you out a few million dollars, they lie to you, you want to go kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Spiritually, that's not the way to do it. <laughs> Forgive me. But anyhow, I'll get off the podium, but all you wonderful mothers in the stands, I want to wish you a happy Easter and a wonderful Mother's Day. And let's go. And, and Dean, I'll give, the, I'll give the podium back. If, if you're not careful, I can talk all day to you. I love you. <laughs> Take care. We love you too. We love you too.